What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Whispering Wild. I'm Will. I'm Tyler. And I'm John. And today we're going to be running through our ultimate early season goose setup. The blinds, we got the decoys, we got the trailer, the light bar, we got it all. So we got a yard sale of all the stuff that we like to use um, for early season. Obviously we don't have too many decoys out because we don't use too many decoys and uh, early September goose. Most of the birds that we're chasing are just local birds so we don't need those big 10 12 dozen spreads. All right, so we're gonna start out with our decoys. This year we're gonna be running Avon X full body lessers. Um, this is the first year that we're gonna be using these. Last year we had like a hodgepodge of all different brands and we wanted to change them up and uh, go with one brand for all the decoys. Last year we had a whole mess of different stands. So this year we wanted to switch them up and have one uh, type of stand. That way we can put them out much quicker and not have to, you know, mess around in the trailer and try and find what stand goes with what decoy. Um, these green stands, we've already used them a couple times, just setting stuff up in and out. Me and John actually use them for one hunt late, late season, and they work great. We're super stoked to be able to be using these avians this year. We've heard great reviews about them. Um, so far, they look great to us, and uh, we think they're going to do really well this season. So we'll see what happens. All right, so right now I'm sitting in a Rogers Goosebusters Double XL biggest layout blind that they make on the market. So much room. I swear you could fit two people in this thing. But we also have two Rogers XL Goosebusters. Those blinds are great. You can pack them up flat, store them. They're great for anybody. We also have a couple Cabela's top flight layout blinds and a couple Gander Mountains that we have also for other people that want to come with um, when we have bigger groups of people. But they're really great to set up. They have all these straps where you can brush them in and they really blend in with any type of environment that we want to hunt in, whether it's a cornfield or over by a pond or a cut hay field. The Goosebusters, they have seemed to work the best for us and we love them. All right guys, welcome to the crib here. As you just saw, we have a 52 inch curved light bar out here that lights up the field for us. Moving in, We've got our whole system here for carrying all our decoys. Uh, we have all these six slot bags. So we have one, two, three. We're gonna have to add a fourth one since we have more decoys. Underneath we have more decoys. And then over here we carry all the blinds and stuff. Sometimes we set them up, we just bomb them in here or we'll fold them up. Uh, moving up front, uh, we have the rack here where we can hang extra jackets, waders, whatever you need. Um, right here we have a paper towel holder you know what it is. And then over here we have our gun, shel our gun shelf. Um, mainly we built this and we designed this trailer, which is a six by 12 Vino's uh, single axle with brakes. If you were wondering, it's not big enough, get a bigger trailer. Uh, but anyways, we designed the layout for it to enter the door here and we built the gun rack, which you can put your lacrosse boots or whatever underneath. Um, so when you leave the house in the morning, you can leave in your Crocs, you get to the field, you can come in here, get changed, whatever you need to do. And I was sick of putting all my crap in the truck. Will's freaking yard sailing everywhere. So hated that. Uh, so that was the theory behind this. So yeah, we have a couple, uh, light bars in, or light pods inside also. And we have the switches for them here, which is wired down to our, uh, deep cycle marine battery we have here in a box. If you want to check out that video, uh, link in description how to wire everything up in the trailer. But anyways, yeah, so that's the inside of the trailer. Pretty simple. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, folks, so that's a wrap for uh, the goose hunting gear that we've got. Um, season is literally right around the corner. We're probably, what, two weeks away, something like that. Um, Johnny's got his, he's been scouting hard. He's been looking around, trying to find some birds. Uh, sometimes this New, this New Jersey early season can be absolutely lights out and other times you could set up a whole spread and not see a dang goose. So we're trying to do our homework and uh, find the geese. So yeah, guys, final thoughts. We're pumped. We hope you guys are pumped. Um, September 1st is opening day. We'll definitely have a video. Hopefully that's opening day. <laughs> Maybe that's we like haven't checked program. yet, so we think no it's opening day. day. Yeah, definitely. don't quote us on that, but we think it is. Johnny, well now we got all the gear. You've been seeing some birds fly. We just got to get on them. You'll see it when we do. See ya. Subscribe. Like this video. We really appreciate it. Will's an idiot. All right, <laughs> peace. <laughs>